Welcome to Bethlehem. Um, guys, we are going to end this video before before we end this video. We are going to the King Herod's tomb. So we are heading to the tomb now. So bear with me. Let's see the Herod's tomb. You must agree with me that based on location that the Bible mentioned, the archaeologists use that location locating where those events happened in those years. So it's not like they just come and inform a particular place and say, oh, this is King Herod's palace. No. It is written in the Bible, locations. So they don't have an address. They will say, in so 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 left, right side, or so 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 place, in a particular place, in Bethlehem, in Israel. So it makes it easier for the archaeologists to locate the as exact place and they start to dig and see all those things. Okay, this is exact place that is uh, King Herod's uh, tombstone was, and this is exact place where King Herod Palace was. So I hope maybe by now you will have watched that cave that I've never seen such in my particular life. Seriously, that cave was amazing. So let us enjoy this uh, King Herod's uh, tomb. On the northern slope of the mountain were raised almost to their foundation by Jewish rebels who came here at the beginning of the Great Revolt against the Romans around 16 CE. Among the ruined pieces were found of a magnificent sacrophagus stone coffin in which the king king's body was apparently placed. Remains of two more sarcophagi were also found in which the king relative may have been buried. Yeah, they said here was where he, his uh, uh, yeah, that's the history. As you can hear, this is where his body was um, buried. Told that the tomb is empty. The bones what are you taken saying to Rome? Many, 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 many years ago. What? He's not a guy. How can you find somebody? No, he's. He okay, he's, he just came. He came, to pray, right? he came to pray, right? Yeah, he came to pray. <laughs> but we're told that this is uh, where King Herod, in the 66 BC or what? His body was found here on this yes, coffin. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Now I understand. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, this is his tomb at that time. Now I understand. Good. Uh, even him, he came to pray. He's here to pray. So let's go down. He is a Muslim. He is an Arab. I don't know if he's a Muslim anyway. I don't, I, don't let me say that because the majority of the Arab are Christians in Israel. Minority of the Arab are Christian. But in general, the whole of the Israel, the Muslims, the Arabs are mostly Christians. So he may be a Muslim or he may be a Christian. This place is sacred to Muslims and Christians. So thank you for watching this video. If you like what you see, subscribe. Hold it. Bye bye guys. See you next time. I'm going to Church of Nativity. I'm going to Church of Nativity after after here. After here. Yeah. Also I am. Okay, even you. Yes. Wow, you today are you a, are you a Muslim or a Christian? Muslim. Okay. So this place is for Muslim Christian. Of course. Why are we fighting? I you don't see, know. You people you are okay in Africa. Muslim Christian they are fighting for nothing. That is not good. Not good. We are all the brothers. Yeah, we are all brothers. Yes. You know my channel. As we left the tombstone of uh, Herod, um, we arrived at the theater where the movies, a short movie about uh, King Herod, will be played for us. Please don't go nowhere. Relax and enjoy this little clip about King Herod. Just below the mountain was this film theater.
the theater. Again, in the service of the king. But this time I was called not to build, but to demolish. King Herod. I did such amazing projects for him. And this theater was my work as well. But it's doomed now. The king has decided to alter Herodium altogether and transform the whole mountain into his mausoleum. Can you hear them? Those are the workers about to begin the demolition. This is the moment we arrived Bethlehem. And our tour guide took us to Church of Nativity. Church of Nativity is where um, it was discovered the cave where Jesus was born. Church of Nativity is also where St. Jerome lives in the cave for 34 years. He came all the way from Rome and he came to translate the Hebrew Bible to English and he's the first man who combined the Bibles together. And also right there at the cave is where uh, King Herod remember when Jesus was born and they were looking for key, the children to kill the children that was killed at that time there was a cave where those children were buried in those time so please I want you to follow this video carefully all the video are not going to be in one piece here they are going to be other um, episodes that you are going to watch and enjoy so for the moment Enjoy as we go. No, he was born at that spot. They built a church. Yes. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, this is Palestine. Their taxi is quite different from Tel Aviv. See, they have a yellow taxi. Thank you to that. Hello everybody. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so people are struggling to climb over there. Yeah. Hi. Afternoon. Hi. Welcome to Bethlehem. <laughs> Can you give us a better food? Yes, and then when we finish the visit to make it grow. <laughs> Guys, remember when King Herod was looking for little Jesus to kill? Yes, this is where they buried those children that was killed at that time of King Herod. This is the cave where all those children were put together here to, because they were already killed. So remember in those days, they don't just bury people when they die. They leave them in a cave to rotten. They have their uh, tombstones where they put people and allow them to get uh, uh, decay. Then they will take the bone and bury it. So, we are just coming out of these uh, caves. A lot of things happen here. The church, we have more than three churches in this particular church of nativity. So, right now we are moving out from this down cave up to the church out there. So, what they did was like this cave, they have now built churches on those caves where all these activities happen. Don't forget to go and watch there's other video that I'm going to up upload where St. Jerome also was uh, uh, was living in a cave there while translating the Bible. Thank <laughs> you. 
So they were fishing water here in those. Okay, everybody, now we are going to go to Milky Grosso, please. Let's be in order and let's not waste time in, in the road. Okay? He's looking for oil. He had this one. Yeah. We marry you. We want to give you a husband. <laughs> We don't want to